I'm Dr. Amsu Ampu. I'm an endocrinologist. I studied endocrinology, neuroendocrinology and metabolism, which is the study of hormones, the endocrine glands, and how the body distributes nutrients. You see, I have a major beef with Western medicine. It omits nutrition. Nutrition should be the focal point. It should be the actual axis of all medicine. It's responsible for how cells um, operate. It's responsible for providing, you know, the correct chemicals for hormones, um, for glands, for your heart, for your brain, your, you know, your central nervous system. It is the focal point and it's being left out. Pharmaceuticals are synthesized chemicals. They're highly cytotoxic which means they poison cells. And the aftermath of that is side effects. So you have, you know, if you watch any commercial out there, you'll see, you know, side effects may include fever, you know, um, coughing. Then you have major side effects, cause blindness, cause liver failure, kidney failure, heart failure, you know, ruptured spleen, you know. So the if side effects range from mild to death, you know, fatality. To include nutrition, to include natural medicines that are from low to zero cytotoxicity and to change the way how people eat, diet, you know, people's diets, how they practice daily things, you know, um, lifestyle habits, how they wash, how they sleep, how often they work out. We, we have an opportunity to be, to be great and we're losing out on that because of Western practices and habits. I chose the field of endocrinology because when I was a teenager, very young teenager, my mum suffered from fibroids and she wound up having a hysterectomy, which is they took her womb out and she had to convalesce for weeks and it ruined my summer. So I was a bit selfish, but... What it did, it sparked my interest into how does the body operate? How does the body communicate? What is, you know, how do, how do organs and glands get out of whack? So it piqued my interest. Then when I started studying endocrinology, I found out my mum didn't need to have a hysterectomy. So it made me challenge Western medicine. Why did they have to cut her open? Why didn't they change, you know, advise her to change her lifestyle? You know, so that's what got me into herbalism. How to treat people without the cytotoxic effect, without the side effects. How to do it naturally, without surgery. So I want the world to heal without utilising these barbaric methods of medicine that being implemented, that's being practised on the whole world. It's bang out of order, mate. We